Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Uh, no camera today. Um, I just encountered something that I, I need to do in LibreOffice and uh, it's like uh, for, for a work thing I'm doing. And so um, what I have found is I'm doing another big marketing push and I found some labels that are not quite the large labels, but they're quite a bit, like a little bit bigger than their, your standard small labels. And uh, so what I found is there is not a label template inside of uh, LibreOffice for this one. So let's talk about how to create a custom size label in the event that you find a label sheet that uh, you cannot find uh, the appropriate uh, template inside of LibreOffice. So we are operating on this one. I believe we're operating on 5.1. Um, so this is actually my work computer here. So um, if you come over here and we're going to go down to labels, all the same. And then here I went through the whole, all of them. I couldn't find anything. What I'm working with right here is there's 60 labels per sheet. Uh, these are Avery number 18294. Um, and it says to use Avery template 5195. Let me just double check if 5195 is in there or not. I didn't see it, but 51, see 5196. So you'll see that 5195 is not in here. I'm I don't know. Maybe in uh, six five. Uh, maybe in 6.0 they have updated that. I I don't know. I, like I said, I'm not on the 6.0 version here. So uh, let's just go ahead and talk about how to do that. So I'm just gonna leave that at uh, user. In fact, I'm just gonna set that in user. Um, and then I'm going to come over here to the format and this is actually where I can format everything. So what I'm going to want to do is come up here and uh, there's our left margin, our top margin. So what you might need to do is pull one of these out of the out of the sheet and you might need a, a ruler or something to measure it with. And uh, you'll see everything in here is in inches. And um, so what I'm going to do is have a look at uh, First and foremost is how many rows, how many columns, things like that. There should be 15, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there are indeed 15 per row, which is exactly what I thought there would be. Um, so we're just going to pop down our rows. Our columns are 4. Our, uh, our rows are 15. And I'm going to grab a uh, ruler real quick. Okay, so then we need to come up with what is our height, what is our width, etc. And so what I'm going to want to do is uh, the width of this, these are uh, two-thirds of an inch. And so with two-thirds of an inch um, of our, uh, I'm sorry, that's our height, two-thirds of an inch height. So we're going to go from uh, 0.5, we're going to... Um, change these. It looks like I, I actually cannot change this until I um, uh, until I make some other adjustments here. It's like my vertical pitch needs to go up is what needs to go up first. So I haven't done this before so let me go with six six there and then we're gonna put our height up. I'd kind of like to do like six uh, so it's it's of course it's it's uh, two thirds so it's point six repeating and so one of the the dangers of of not being able to go like I might want to do like point six seven instead of point six um, so there's my height there's my width my left margin our top margin. So I'm going to look at the, my paper here and I'm going to measure out my top margin. And with my ruler, I'm going to look and it is indeed exactly a half an inch top margin. So let me find my top margin is half. That is correct. Um, I need a left margin. There's telling me 0.28. So my left is uh, 2.8. So that's 0 0.25. I'm going to want to change my left margin to 0 0.25, I think. My rows, page height is good. 
Okay, so I'm guessing that that's probably good. We might actually have to um, we might actually have to make some adjustments to this. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, I'm going to change over my uh, addressy type stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and hit, make sure my synchronize is on, which it is. And I'm going to go ahead and push new document. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go turn on my printer and push print on this and see if these work correctly or not. So anytime I'm working with labels the very first time, um, then what I'll do is I'll print it out just on a regular piece of paper. And I'm just going to hold it up in some light to the uh, label system there and um, uh, print up there. So you'll see my, my screen there. The printer sits there and says, there's a print error. It will actually print. I'm not sure why the thing always tells me there's a print error, but it always prints. It might be fixed if I installed the proprietary driver, but why bother? Okay, so uh, holding those up to some light just to, just to have a look at how, how they look. Um, it, is, it does look like I probably want to go back and uh, fix part of the margins a little bit. Um, and so what we're going to do is... It's literally just just in just a touch uh, like that. And one of the things that it does look like it is actually giving me a little bit of a foul up of, it's not bad, it's usable, it just doesn't perfectly center them like the, the pre-built labels do. Um, and that is that uh, it is, um, the the top alignment is slightly off that's because we had to round to we either had to point choose 0.6 or 0.7 i think that that's throwing off just a small amount So it looks like what it's actually doing is it's actually just making it a little bit, um, just a little bit off on the, um, uh, a little bit off on the, uh, on the very bottom labels. It's running down just a little bit. I don't think that's going to be a, a specifically fixable item uh, on this because of the inability to go out another decimal point. Um, so what we're going to do is just make sure that we have a little bit more margin on the top versus. Uh, versus the bottom and actually I'm going to want to put our logo in here instead so we're just going to I, I grabbed I'm not going to do these ones in color I just grabbed a uh, black and white logo so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to move this down ever so slightly and then delete and then I'm going to actually drop my font on these guys a little bit And let me go down to 10. I'm going to try 10, and then I'm going to uh, center the text there. And let me go ahead and synchronize labels. And I actually, I think the next thing I'm going to want to do is, let me, um, try to think exactly what I want to do here. Let me go with below paragraph spacing if I can. I'm just going to see what what are my various options to. Uh, I just want to move the text up ever so slightly from the bottom, so it's a little bit too close to the bottom. Let's go ahead and uh, format uh, paragraph. No, oh, a little too small. Ha ha ha. Don't want to do it that way. That's too bad. <laughs> so let me start up with, let me try 18. Um, I'm just going to kind of tinker around a little bit until I find exactly the, the one that works for me here. Okay, format, 
paragraph again, and we're going to try So that's bringing us closer to what I want to see. So we're going to up, nudge this up just a smidgen. And then we're going to grab this guy here and change this paragraph. Let's go with, let's see if I can manually do 15 there like that. Synchronize labels across all and now let's go ahead and print out another test page. That actually should be pretty consistent. One of the things I don't like about these new Avery labels, they're giving you printing and tip instructions on the back of every page and it's making it pretty stinking impossible to actually verify everything well. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and run this and then I'm gonna verify that uh, uh, verify that this looks good and probably call this good. Okay, so that actually looked pretty good on my templating and so I'm gonna go ahead and run one more through on actual labels this time and we'll verify that all works. So it, it does look like one of the challenges here with this particular, um, with this one particular label is that um, uh, because the height is at two thirds of an inch you can't get the perfect size um, on the platform here. And I'm actually going to be willing to guess that you're going to encounter that on, on even on Word or things like that because it's a limitation of the significant figures. See, if you're in chemistry, significant figures are important. Well, I can say that actually um, my printer fouled up and did not print this through correctly. <laughs> the labels actually look perfectly fine, but I think the printer did not grab the paper correctly. It printed literally sideways. It's kind of weird. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and run one more through like that, and then uh, I think we'll call that good. But anyway, that is how you create a label. Um, uh, create a, uh, a label template for a template that may not be in your LibreOffice. Uh, make sure you're synchronizing and all that kind of stuff. So thanks for watching. Hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.